Good morning. I am Chancellor Alexander Cartwright, and thank you for being here to celebrate a very generous gift to our School of Music and the Mizzou New Music Initiative. With me today are Jean Singfield, director of the Singfield Charitable Foundation and one of the school's most passionate supporters. Jack Snelling, a sophomore music composition major. Dr. Patrick Oker, Dean of the College of Arts and Science. And Dr. Julia Gaines, director of the School of Music. I can think of no better place to celebrate the future of our tremendous music program than in this wonderful recital hall. Magic is made here every day by our composers, performers, teachers, and scholars. But that magic couldn't happen without the generosity and vision of our supporters and friends. And Jean Singfield is one of our most faithful supporters. Her and her family's long-standing commitment to the university, our School of Music, and the Mizzou New Music Initiative is a remarkable gift. In fact, it was over 10 years ago that Jean gave her first transformational gift to the School of Music. That's tremendous. Thank you for... <laughs> Since then, Jean and the Singfield Charitable Foundation have continued to support us with their advocacy and passion for music. That's why it is particularly wonderful that the same year we celebrate this continued commitment, we also celebrate a decade of the Mizzou New Music Initiative. This initiative brings together a diverse array of performance and composition programs to help position our school of music as a leading center of composition and new music. In fact, we should say the leading center of composition and new music. It, it has supported 70 students with full scholarships and assistanceships, brought more than 160 award-winning composers and performers to campus, and realized the creation or performance of over 500 pieces of music from musicians between six to 70 years old. It has helped champion our extraordinary faculty and students, who in turn have had their works performed by the internationally renowned St. Louis Symphony Orchestra eight times. Clearly, the Mizzou New Music Initiative provides life-changing opportunities to our entire university community. And today, during Arts and Science Week, I am thrilled to announce a renewed commitment to those opportunities. A more than $2.4 million gift over three years from the Singfield Charitable Foundation. Most of this gift will further support the Mizzou New Music Initiative, including stipends for professional development, enhanced equipment, and investments for our talented guest musicians. But I am also thrilled to announce today that $300,000 of this gift will be directed to undergraduate scholarships. And the university will match these funds to help provide even more support for our exceptionally talented students. Thank you. Jean shares Mizzou's passion for student success, and these scholarships will ensure that our students continue to have access to world-class learning opportunities inside and outside the classroom. On behalf of the Mizzou community, I want to offer my sincere thanks to Jean Singfield and the Singfield Charitable Foundation and their immense, for their immense generosity and support of Mizzou. And let's give one more a set of applause for that. Thank you. I also want to thank Katie Singfield for uh, 
helping us celebrate today. Katie's right here, thank you. We, we are proud to have you as part of the Mizzou family. Now, please help me welcome Jean to say a few words. Thank you. Actually, I started this 14 years ago. <laughs> it started with a very simple idea which I, some of the faculty who are here remember, we started with a K-12 uh, composition competition for any Missouri student. And I see a couple of people who remember that year. And uh, what we did was any Missouri student could come and they get cash prizes and their music teacher get cash prizes and they play their music and uh, there would uh, be a recording. And that was the first year that we started. The second year, at, after I had met a couple of composers who had never met another composer, I persuaded the head of the music school to have a high school summer camp for composers. So for those of you who have been to that, and who've been, I, I see people nodding their head, okay. And actually t today, the piece of music is gonna be, that's being performed by Jack Snelling, he was actually a three-time winner of comp and an honorable mention, and he came to this high school summer camp three times, and then he got the scholarship to Mizzou for composition, and I'm looking at a couple of the kids out there who have done the same, that we found as part of our policy to find and grow composers. But what we learned after a while was the students at Mizzou came to me and said, what about us? Okay, what about us? You're a lot more expensive than the other kids. <laughs> <laughs> so I went out and I talked to, I think, 100 people and got lots of input. Dr. Freund and Dr. McKinney were particularly helpful. And then I walked into the then current head of the music school with my plan for the Mizzou New Music Initiative. I'm not sure he'd even met me. And I came in and said I was gonna give him over a million dollars and here's my plan. And it was not my plan, it was your plan. Because I talked to everybody, what might work. So we have scholarships for composers, we have uh, scholar, uh, scholarships for musicians, we have our own new music, we have the Singfield Prize, we have an international composer festival, we have a composer in residence. If you're not even a Mizzou student if you're a composer, we have our, uh, International Composer Festival. We have a, a postdoc. I'm seeing one prior and one current postdoc in composition, the first in America. I'll show those other schools, right? <laughs> so what we're doing is each year, the School of Music comes and says, you know what you did last time was great but we need some new things. So, and I reached out to the uh, chancellor here and said, you're gonna be giving money for merit. My definition of merit is talent. And it seems to me the music department has talent. So here's another 300 grand, thanks. <laughs> so. But the best thing is the music. We've had music written for faculty. We've had music played by the St. Louis Symphony. We have kindergarten kids. We've had commissions from the Springfield Symphony. That's been there. We've had people win the LA Phil. But the best thing is we have over 500 pieces of music with recordings. Missouri has always been a place for music. Mizzou is the mecca for musical composition. And we're going forward. We're going to show them how it's done. So and now I'd like to introduce Jack Stelling, one of our long-term find and grow composer. And he's going to perform his piece, Stream of Consciousness. And I'd like him to come up and talk to me and tell me, since I'm not a composer, and there's no reason for me to be funding composers, but I love music. And I love the idea that someone can magically write a new music. So 
Welcome, Jack. So tell me a little bit about your music, and since I'm not a composer, maybe dumb it down for some of the audience. <laughs> so um, when I first got into composition, uh, I was at that point only a jazz player. I'd only, I never even considered doing classical music at all. And then, um, so you can even tell that now, I'm sure, like when you hear my piece, like a lot of the harmonies that I'm using are stuff straight from jazz. But when I first got to comp camp my first year, that was the first time I'd been introduced to writing classical music. And from that point on, I've just stuck with it. It's just a lot of fun. So um, my piece that I wrote for this, or for today, uh, Stream of Consciousness, it started as a, my first project as an undergraduate here at Mizzou. Um, it was my first, like my first major assignment in a Dr. Radius class. And, um, after we, the project was over, I thought to myself, this really is not a finished piece, so I decided to just flesh it out and work with it, and then I got it performed at the, um, the student composer's recital, and then uh, now, it's, now it's here. So yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Jack. Let's, let's hear his music, and remember, the joy of life is music, right? <laughs>
I'm sorry, but we do gift announcements differently than other schools and colleges. <laughs> thank you, Jane, Trisha, and Danny for a beautiful performance. And thank you, Jack, for sharing your work with us. I know I speak for everyone here when I tell you how grateful we are to be in a place where we're able to experience incredible music performed so beautifully. Thank you all for the gift of music that you shared with us this morning. My name is Pat Oker. I'm Dean of the College of Arts and Science. It's my great privilege to be here this morning. The college is often described and characterized by the incredible range of its 90 degree programs, by the fact that we're the home of economists and poets and philosophers and physicists. Those of us who love the college also know that there are deep connections among these diverse academic programs that serve as the very foundation of our college. 
And at the heart of these connections is a commitment to creativity, experimentation, and discovery. A commitment to a lifelong pursuit of questions like why and what if. I can think of no pure example of this commitment to experimentation and discovery than the Mizzou New Music Initiative. Thanks to the generosity and vision of Dr. Sinkfield, Mizzou has already become the locust, locust, sorry, dare I say the Silicon Valley for music composition in the United States. And one of the things I most admire about this initiative is that its effects are far reaching precisely because the kind of experimentation and discovery that happens within music composition depends on an entire ecosystem of creativity. And that is what we provide here in the School of Music, is that ecosystem of creativity. And actually, it just extends beyond the, college, the school as well. Composers, as we saw this morning, need performers and conductors. And we need music educators to make sure that we have those performers. And we need music critics to write about that incredible piece that we heard this morning. And we need audiences. And here at Mizzou, we have expanded the sphere of influence beyond the School of Music. Gene Sinkfield has already talked some about this. But thanks to this program, we have vibrant partners with our K through 12 partners, with the St. Louis Symphony, and with some of the most important artists in contemporary music, including Alarm Will Sound. At its very foundation, the, Mu the Mizzou New Music Initiative has encouraged innovation in our music students, letting them experiment and discover and then share their creativity with the world. And as we'll hear in a minute, it has also opened doors for incredible careers for these students. This tremendous gift from Dr. Sinkfield and the Sinkfield Charitable Foundation continues this important work giving more students the freedom to create their own music and to imagine what if, because that is fundamentally what a composer does, I think. What if I put this sound with this sound, something that is the, no human has ever heard before? What would happen? What would be the effect? How would an audience react? Thank you, Jean. Um, and now we have a surprise for you. Some alumni from this program want to say a few words. So you'll need to. Hi, Jean. My name is Grant Fonda, and I am so thankful to have been able to be at Mizzou from 2010 to 2012 while I was pursuing my master's in music and composition. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for the opportunities that you facilitated there through the New Music Initiative. It really is such an amazing place, an amazing program, and proved to be a great musical petri dish for me where I could throw ideas in and see how they germinated and grew or did not. And especially working with the New Music Ensemble was invaluable preparation what I'm doing now, working as a full-time composer and orchestrator and copyist here in Los Angeles. Getting to work with the New Music Ensemble was wonderful because we got to not only hear every idea played and rehearsed, but also performed, and so you got to see what things worked and what things didn't work. And getting to take those techniques and ideas and now apply them in professional context is just so amazing and I just am so grateful for you believing in us then as students and really in by way of extension believing in us now as professionals. So thank you for all that you've done and are continuing to do. Hi, my name is Stephanie Berg and I majored in uh, performance and composition at Mizzou. Um, and I really have to say that my success um, in the field, uh, I am a composer, a performer, and a teacher now uh, in music. My success is very directly linked to my time at Mizzou. Uh, Mizzou gave me a very well-rounded education um, and uh, gave me a very deep and thorough understanding of my field um, and has allowed me to approach composition, approach performing, and even approach teaching uh, with a kind of breadth of knowledge that I don't think I would have been able to get elsewhere. Um, my success also as a composer and as a working composer um, is directly linked uh, to Gene Singfield's support of uh, the School of Music, particularly through the New Music Initiative. Um, I was going to school right as that was starting to develop and I, met, I got to have a lot of opportunities that I wouldn't have had otherwise, particularly getting the chance to uh, work with Alarmal Sound uh, in writing a piece for them. 
Um, she really jump-started my career. Uh, it was really quite amazing. Um, and, uh, you know, I, <laughs> I owe my, my life's work uh, to Mizzou and to Jean, S Jean Singfield and the New Music Initiative. So thank you very much. Hey Jean, this is Trey Mockler coming to you from the Sacramento airport. Um, you know, I normally live in New York, but I paid a visit to California this weekend because I just received a PhD offer from the UC Davis Department of Music. And now that I'm going back to New York, I will be having the first rehearsal for my new orchestra piece, Rose Thorn Bud, uh, which is being premiered by Juilliard's Orchestra in this month. And I just thought this would be a great time for me to say thank you for everything you did for me. You have really turned Mizzou into a hidden gem, a place where composers can go be encouraged by you and by faculty to create the music that they want to make. And I think that was so important for my own development and now here I am in New York going to Juilliard finishing up my masters and I feel like I have so much freedom to write the music that I want to write because there are people like you uh, supporting me and encouraging me throughout my most uh, fundamental development so I just want to say thank you Jean for all you've done for me, for my other composer friends at Mizzou, and for the University of Missouri as a whole. So thank you. is being premiered at Juilliard next month, along with the Rite of Spring, which will be played on that program. When Trey was here, he took a Stravinsky class from our very own Dr. Mintern. That class from several years ago is flying back to New York to hear Trey's uh, per uh, performance and the Rite of Spring, along with Dr. Mintern. So that's a really great experience that's happened. And this class was seven years ago, something like that. So, really great opportunity. We just have a wonder, very collegial, very supportive school of music for new music. Sometimes you can't say that about some of some other schools. And um, we're so supportive, we're so privileged, and um, thrilled is like an understatement to be able to have Jean as our angel, our angel composer, our angel supporter. Maybe you'll compose soon. I think maybe. That's coming. Um, to say it's transformed our school is also an understatement. It really has just permeated everything we do, and we certainly can't say thank you enough. So we do just want to thank you for being here and ask that you would join us out for a little reception in our lobby. We are going to have some members of the press come up and speak to our speakers, so if you would exit that way, the members of the press can come down this way. Thank you very much for being here today.